And now they're becoming like men. Yeah, I mean, I think that this shock factor uh, does exist because women are portrayed as the mothers, the carers, the nurturers. Yeah. And to think All that of a which woman, they are, of yeah, course. I mean, to think that a woman has gone out and, um, I don't know, stabbed somebody is just, you know, you take a step back, you think a woman has done that. Whereas if a man has done that, perhaps, um, without looking at the surrounding circumstances, of course, um, you know, it's much, it's much more common. Um, there has been statistics showing that over the last, bit, after, after the last five to six years, um, violent crimes have increased 150% uh, for women. Mm. Um, and without being able to break down that figure um, as to why they, this ha figure has increased why and do you how think it's, it's happened? apportioned. Why? why do you think well, it's happened? Why are women becoming more violent? Well, I think it's to do with the way um, they're standing up yeah. for themselves. Is that what it is? A bit more <laughs> confidence. Um, OK, what well, do you think it is? Very quickly, I do you think it's because, if you like, they're I independent, they're standing up for themselves? Is I'm that an independent woman. I don't use violence. Yeah. Most of the women here don't. People use violence. Women use violence when they're frustrated, when they feel yeah, powerless. I mean, and it's not OK. It's we not need to OK. Help. It's not OK. <laughs> The facts tell us that women are becoming more violent. That's the facts. We have to deal with the facts. We have to acknowledge it. We have to try to understand why. What are the reasons? And deal with the causes of that crime. That doesn't mean to say it's acceptable or justifiable or ever can be defended. Because, of course, it can't. There are other ways you have to deal with your problems. And if you're the one that feels prone to violence, if you have that terrible pent-up frustration and anger, and we've all had it. We all know about it. We all know about the temptation to kind of take the matter into your own hands. But you mustn't, must you? And if it's really got as bad as some of the people here today, then you've got to get help. And you can get help. Get it. Take care of yourselves. If you'd like to join Robert in a program about obsessive love, call now on 0990 100 771. Is someone obsessed with you? Is it a former partner or someone you hardly know? Won't they accept you don't want a relationship with them? Do they follow you around or keep trying to make contact with you? Do you think they're stalking you? Call too if you are desperately in love with someone and they won't have anything to do with you. I will sell, please, both Rue and Ed. The Syndicate. There were various questions that you knew the answer to, and you had to keep quiet. Yeah, I'm a captain. I can't go, OK, I'll take that, I'll take that. It's not very easy the first time you're out there. Your tactics went on somewhat awry, and they've paid the price. The battle to be Britain's best quiz brains. The Syndicate continues tonight at 7 on BBC One. This is BBC One, with a BBC News summary. From Anna Ford.